Timo at the bus stop across the street. Oh, look at me. I was giving a demonstration how not to change a tire. <laughs> then that voice again. Reach up. Reach up. Should I involve him? Of course not. Ha, uh, that's not my car. <laughs> In the gas station behind the counter stood the big man with a big smile. Badge read Jesse. He said, My friend, was your car doing push ups? <laughs> I told him I did something stupid. I asked him for help. We got out. Jesse looked at the car and said, You were right. That's stupid. Let me show you. You never know who you're going to find when you reach out. I found a DJM. Distinguished Jack Master. Jesse helped me lift the car up. Rusty, foolish man, shook Rusty, helping hand. That night, I stopped to change the tire. Instead, the tire changed me. I used to believe that to reach out was weakness. I discovered my weakness was refusing to reach out. When you reach out, you attract ideas that lift you up. When you reach out, you attract solutions that lift you up. When you reach out, you attract friendships that lift you up. Maybe you want a better voice. Reach out to a singer. Maybe you want better writing. Reach out to a writer. Maybe you want better tire-changing skills. Reach out to me. I'll give you Jesse's number. Is there something collapsed in your life? Your knowledge may be limited. Your skills may be rusty. But no doubt, you will be changed when you reach out.
not only in writing, in speaking, you can also okay, show us the action. Is that clear to you that he is trying to change a tire, a flat tire? Yes. He uses his senses. He uses what techniques? The sound. The sound. Okay? So you can imagine. His movement, his hands reach out. So you can remember, reach out is to? What does it mean to reach out? To? Ask for? Yes, ask for help. Is it a weakness to ask for help? No. But to some people, to him, before he changed the tire, he feels that it was a weakness to ask for help. But that night, how did the, uh, the tire change him? He discovered what? Yes, do? Yes, yeah. Do not be shy to ask for help. It is never wrong to ask for help. When you ask for help, what will you get? You get? What is it? Yeah? Okay? Yes, you get some ideas. You get some feedback. Okay? You get someone to, you get solution. Am I right? Yes. So if you are not in the know, if you are stuck with something, ask for help. Okay? So that is why the title of his presentation is Change by a Tire. He is actually trying to change a tire, right? A flat tire. But actually, the flat tire changed him that night. Can you see that? What do you think? It, okay, honestly, what do you think about his presentation? Do you enjoy his presentation? Yes. yes. Do you feel you want to listen more to him? Yes. yes. The presentation is very active. Okay? It is full of movement. How about his voice? Okay. Loud and clear. The in yes, the intonation. Is there ups and downs? Yes, when there are certain parts that he feels he needs to raise his voice, he will have he will use the high pitch. Yes, reach out. That is very clear because that is the message that he wants to people to remember. And you remember that because he repeats many many times. Are you all clear? So, if I ask you to present, what are the things that you need to remember? In order to make your presentation effective, what do you need to do? Intonation, body language. Intonation, there must be ups and downs. You can't sound as if you are reading. Even that night, I am trying to change a flat tire. <laughs> As if you do not have feelings. You have you need to have feelings. That night, okay, the flat tire changed me. Okay? You you say things with emotions. You mentioned about body language. Use your body. Don't just stand here and tonight I am going to okay. <laughs> Your body, you will feel less nervous. Take control of your body as you present. Be natural. It's not like tonight I'm going to change a flat tire. How do I change a flat tire? It's not that. It has to be natural or suitable to the things that you say. What else? We have intonation of voice. We have the volume loud and clear. We have the feelings. Okay, you have the body language, the movement, what else? Yes, eye contact, the facial expression. The facial expression. If you say, I am sad. <laughs> okay, it does not tell you. Okay, you are sad but you do not show it. Yeah. Right? Facial expression is important. Your eyes can talk. Contact. You talk 
about content. You need to know what is the focus. Are you going to talk about your grandfather's car? Are you going to talk about your favorite toy? Are you going to talk about your favorite food? So what is the focus? Focus on that only. Do not add unnecessary details. Okay? So what else? Is there anything else we need to remember before we do a short presentation? Confidence. True. He was so confident. When you are confident, even though you commit mistake or do any mistake, people will not see that. You need to be confident. You need to love what you are doing. You need to fight the nervousness. Be brave. Talk. Speak. Can we do that? Can we try? Okay. This is the deal. Okay. You can choose to describe or to write a story about a person, about a thing, about an animal, or about a place or about an incident. Incident is that example just now. An incident okay, that happened. Okay? So you all have to together write a very short story. Okay? A very short story. Just like the Sari, uh, the God Sari. Okay? Just a, a simple story that comes to a, an understanding. Okay? Two paragraphs would be enough. Two. Alright? In your story, there must be adjectives of descriptive nature. So you need to describe. If it is about a person, describe about the person. If it is about an incident, describe the incident, how it happened. All right? If it is about a place, describe the place. So you need to use descriptive adjectives to describe. Okay? So, work on the text as quickly as possible and then, okay, take turns. You are going to present as a group, okay? So, you can either identify like each person will speak two lines, okay? And continue the story as what the presentation goes. Or you can assign someone, okay, to become a narrator. And the rest of you will do the action. That can also be done. Like sound effects. Okay? Okay? The sound of the rain, the sound of the cat, the sound of an accident, the sound of people screaming. Up to you. Use your creativity. What is the time now? 3 o'clock. Okay? So now it's 3 o'clock. I am giving you half an hour. Okay? And then each group will take about 5 minutes to present. Okay? We will start from the lucky number 3, number 2, number 1. Okay? Alright. So, okay? Can you do that? Are you clear on what you're supposed to do? You have to write the screen, the story, a short one. At least each person will have two lines to say. Or how you are going to present is up to your own screen. Minimum. 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 Yes. But the sentences should be descriptive in nature. Describe. Okay? Use adjectives so that we can picture what we have. Hurry up, don't waste time. Okay? Your friend can go back and rest before breakfast.
I grab my coat and wore my new funky slipper. <laughs>
why they're all good. Maybe I want to open the big game. It was silent on the time to reduce my body and be I use the radio to interpret me. Suddenly I saw an emergency lamp of the car on the car.
both handouts are very important. I want you to go through, okay? It is best if you can form a simple study group among yourself. Sit together very quickly. You can sit over lunch or dinner, okay? Okay, have some food and attempt the papers together. You will find that it is very okay, easy to attempt when you are with friends. Okay, so make it as a practice because we will come back to this paragraph before the end of the semester. We will come back to writing descriptive essay in nature before the end of the semester. Okay, are you all clear? So next week, next Monday, what are we? What will we be having? Yes, a writing assessment. Remember, we did the practice last uh, Monday. You wrote uh, your opinion regarding the practice of Dowdy. So the assessment will be similar in nature. Yes. Okay. A very short writing piece. Okay. In class, and you will be given a few questions. Hopefully, so you may choose. Okay. What you feel you are most comfortable in giving opinion and writing. Okay. But it will be based on the two short stories. <coughs> Cat in the rain and question of doubting. If you have the free time, I suggest you Google the two stories. Read, okay? Read if there is any creative interpretation. If people give comments, literary comments about the two story, read up because it will give you the word power on how to give comments and feedback towards the story. What are the issues in the two stories? We have discussed the issues of dowry and then the issues of uh, love marriage or arranged marriage. What are the issues we have? Can it arrange? Okay. Yes, about relationship. What is most important in a relationship? Okay. Is it a cat, a wife, or a husband? Yes. Okay. Or the hotel people. Okay. So read up because it will help you to write. So are you all happy today? Yes. Okay. I am very happy to see you all laughing and happy.